Yo, what's up you guys? Today we're gonna digitize our drawings and then turn them into some shirt mocks. It's gonna be great. Let's get into it. This is the illustration that I'm gonna digitize and then we're just gonna go over the pre-production side of my file. I like to separate my layers and give them different titles. So we have the type and color palette. So before we get into the design, I actually made a little, little nice little typography element for this design, but I have things separated as line, the main line, line work, colors, because you want the line work to be on top and then secondary just little things that i may or may not need and then of course the reference file so let's get into it for this portion of the project we're going to outline with the brush tool and it's only because i have a tablet the tablet makes this a lot easier for me and if i didn't have it with me i would have used the pen tool the results would have been the same just taking a little bit longer i also use the ellipse tool just so i can get the rosebud to be perfect it's not a perfect circle so i didn't hold shift but Brush tool for this project is absolutely key. I also have one more note, and that is if you like the video, please like the video. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Follow me in other social medias like Instagram at Hey Cabra. I post a lot of reels there, but the goal is to make more long form content for YouTube because I like it and hope you guys like me because I love you guys. But anyways, let's get back into it. Let's double check our line work. It's looking pretty good. I move my palette to the left because now I'm going to start inking. What we should do is lock our line colors, open up our regular colors. And for this portion, we're going to use the blob brush. And if you don't know what the blob brush is, it just makes it a lot easier to ink your drawings. Instead of making them into outlines, it turns them more into a shape. So when you click into it, it looks pretty nice. So the way that I use the blob brush, I like to make a general outline, click on the center with the direct select tool, delete it, and then that makes a perfect fill there's other methods to do this like you can do the outline with the pen tool like a nice general outline and then switch it to a fill but I feel like that takes a little longer there's other ways as well like the live paint tool but for me the blob brush is just the way to go in your design career there's gonna be so many people that are gonna be like why don't you use this method or this method but you gotta remember that this is also a an, an art form there's so many ways to get to your end goal. And if it works for you, uh, keep at it. And also don't be completely shut off. If someone can offer you some way to make your workflow a lot better, then go ahead and listen. But there's so many ways to do the things that we do in design. It's so it makes it beautiful, you know? I have um, Modelo Sinus, so I'm kind of loopy right now. So uh, if I'm rambling, let me know, but I'm craving soups. Let me know uh, what's your favorite type of soup. Um, earlier I had caldo de res, which just means um, beef stew. It was delicious, but I would like to have other soups just to make me feel a little better. Let me know what's your favorite soup because soup gang, you know, especially when it's a, uh, when it's six season, it's the best, best food to go with. Beautiful. All right, this is looking nice. Now that the main design is done, let's turn this into a t-shirt design. Let's get into it. Now that we got the main portion of the design done, I like to duplicate my artboard and that is at a safety. And I recommend that you guys pick up this habit as well. Sometimes you are experimenting with design and you get so lost in the sauce that you can't control Z your way out of the mess that you made. So it's always nice that you can look to your left and copy and paste the original if needed. Also, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to outline my strokes just so if I need to scale this design smaller or bigger, it, it, uh, it remains the same baby. And that is beautiful. After this, I'm going to place our design in a black background and I'm going to start messing with typography because, uh, what's a, uh, what's a design without typography, you know? So the typeface is called Wesley. And what I like to do is stretch out the type just a little bit and it's only for the effect uh any other ways i rarely like to i rarely like to mess with the typeface i take that back i really like to stretch out typefaces but essentially what i do is just kind of find out what exactly i like to do so after that yep so what i did is i made that little curve go to object expand experience <laughs> experience expand appearance and then mess around 
with the with the length of the letters. So if I wanted to do this, that, little things like that, and then just make sure that they're even. This is like a real rough of what I did, but we're we're kind of close to it. So that's that's how I did that. So let's let's uh let's fast forward now. Now that we're finalizing our designs, I'm using the rectangle tool. I'm gonna line it with the typography and then move the rows there. Um, the rows itself is a bit of a funky shape, so I can't mathematically align to things. So I use the rectangle tool to help me to guide it as close as visually center as possible. Another thing that I like to do is add a little bit more typography into the project. So I went with bad luck, good times. Um, originally I wanted to use open sands, but I think I went with good old Helvetica towards the end. And for some reason I was having an inner war on how to align this. If I wanted to do a line left, a line right. And funny enough, I just decided to go with a line middle or sorry, a line center. And I know a lot of designers are just swinging their fists in the air because everyone's like Align Center is just the easiest way to do. Well, it's a simple design shirt, so let's uh, let's not overthink it, my dudes. So I'm going to add some textures right now, but I'm going to throw this into a clipping mask just because I want this file to be easy, easy to navigate. Um, just in case someone else is going to jump on this file, um, you know, file structures are just super important to me, especially if you work on a team like Make, make your files as easy to work with as possible, you guys. Please and thank you. So we're gonna do the mock-up in Photoshop, and this is the only time we're touching Photoshop for this project. Everything else was done in Illustrator. It's kind of annoying because now I have to look at two different monitors. But let's do the front pocket first. I'm gonna go back to Illustrator. You guys won't see that, but all I'm doing is just copy and pasting anyway. Nice little pocket design. Beautiful. Going back into Illustrator. Big, pr big print because we're wild like that. Bad luck, good times. So we can just do quick designs, imagine. These don't have to be perfect. It's a mock, my guy. It's a nice design, huh? What do you guys feel about that? Nice and simple. Bad luck, good times. We're beautiful like flowers. I think I'm gonna call it there. So if you guys like the video, like the video, please subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, hey cabra. Um, we're gonna do more stuff on this channel. So hopefully, hopefully you guys uh, join us for the ride. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Yo, it's man. Work done. You've been playing since midnight and it's almost 5 p.m. Go touch grass, man. It is. Get a life, man. Touch grass. No, 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 no,